Hello everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Gaming. This is episode 12, again, of our Technic Let's Play. The reason I say again is because I've already recorded episode 12, and my voice didn't want to record, so I have to do it all over again, basically. We got a lot of stuff done in the last episode. In fact, we got all the lights installed in our house that we need for the future, and they are black lights, uh, yeah, black lamps. We crafted a bunch of Lumar in the last episode by getting a bunch of ink sacks from squids. We just uh, actually found one squid and uh, then transmuted that ink sack into like 48 more and then made 24 black lamps. And also in the last episode, if you might notice these blocks here, they are not regular bricks. These are coke oven bricks. Now these, one, these coke oven bricks cost a couple sand and a couple bricks to make. I'll just... Uh, exact uh, kind of replicate the recipe say these cobblestone bricks were sand this is how you put the sand like that and these regular basalt were uh, bricks you put them like that kind of like a uh, piece of TNT but with different resources so in any, in any case we made 64 of each and yeah that is a lot of sand and a lot of bricks it was 10 stacks of sand 8 st stacks of bricks we transmuted them all with a brand new item that we made back at the other house and I'll show you guys that in a moment but for now I'm going to go ahead and place these, uh, you know what, no. Let's head over to the other house and show you guys what else we did this episode. So give me a second, I'll run over here, and then when I come back I'll show you how I wired that stuff up, all the lights anyways, and uh, I, with more jacketed cable, I did make a lot more of it. In fact, I have some left over, lots of left over actually, 52 left. So I'm going to run over to this house here, hold on a second. One thing you guys might notice while I'm running back to this house here is you don't see any more of those... Uh, those uh, um, beehives, and that's because I collected them all in the last episode as well. Well, in this episode that I uh, failed to record. So if I open up my bag here, as you can see, there's a bunch of Meadows Queen bees and one Forest Queen. Those were the things that uh, the dr the beehives that that were over around here, the orange ones. Those dropped the Meadows Queens, and the white ones that I find in the forest dropped the Forest Queens. So I gathered all those with a certain item called the scoop. And the scoop is right here. As you can see, it's fairly broken at the moment. And uh, what else did I do last episode? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I believe so, anyways. I keep saying in the last episode as if it was like an episode ago, but uh, it's actually the same episode, kind of. So, as you can see, there's a new chest here. And no, this is not an alchemy chest or alchemical chest. In fact, this is a much more expensive item, costing an, a four extra diamonds and a four extra obsidian. Literally, you put, uh, let's open up the crafting square, alchemy chest right, or alchemical chest here, diamond here, 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 and here, and obsidian in the corners. And that will give you the energy condenser. Now, with this energy condenser, I'll explain it again, because you guys didn't see it in the last episode. Well, in the last recording session, I should say. I should say. So if you put one basalt or anything up in this top left corner here, anything else you put into this chest will be automatically transmuted into this item. So as you can see, I just transmuted two bones into a bunch of basalt, and uh, I didn't really need to. In fact, let's just toss all this basalt in here, because we don't need it, and put it in this slot here, because we don't want it, and turn it into string. Why not? As you can see, it fills up this progress bar towards the amount of EMC string is worth, so it's worth about 12, 13, something EMC, and every 12 basalt we get one piece of string, so... That's pretty cool. This energy condenser was pretty awesome to uh, have early game, but uh, it's not very early game at the moment for me. I just uh, decided to make it a little late. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what else did we do? Not too much other than uh, do those things there and make the lights in my house. I, if I do remember something else, I will let you guys know, but we did talk about a couple things, but uh, we'll probably talk about them again, don't worry. Uh, you didn't miss out on very much. I apologize. This happens at least once per every Let's Play that I make, because I'm just a failure with mics and scraps, so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm going to go find a... Uh, maybe a forest drone... or a forest uh, beehive, maybe? Or maybe I'll just show you guys when I find one. Or next time I see one, anyways. They're just white and hang from trees, basically. And also did mention that they do give off a light level, so they're easiest to find at nighttime if you're willing to run through the night and a bunch of creepers and stuff. So, that's about it for what we did last episode, and in this, oh my god, it wasn't last episode, Brent, it was just last recording session because you fail. So, let's run back over to this house and start building these coke ovens. Now, you need 26 
coke oven bricks per oven. So as you can see, I can make about four or five, six, something of, that, of these ovens. And these are used in railcraft. Railcraft is mainly uh, a huge overhaul of the rail system in Minecraft. You can't actually make rails right with uh, the regular old recipe, like you can't put iron on the sides and then a stick in the middle and make 16 rails anymore. It's really complicated to make a bit of rail. If we go into uh, any eye here, you can actually see a couple of the rail stuff. Where's this at? Um, here it is. All of these like rail, different rail, holding rail, boarding rail, stone rail beds, and suspended rail, I don't know what that is, probably just like a floating rail, that'd be sweet. Um, wooden rails, you can make switch rails. Uh, to make a wooden rail, as you can see, you need wood ties, you need wood rail bed. To make wood ties, you need kerosote oil, or kerosote uh, oil, and a couple of wooden slabs. So this oil is actually what we need to make all of the wooden ties and all that stuff. And to make that oil, we need these ovens. So we need to cook up wood inside these ovens, and that'll give us a byproduct of uh, kerosote oil, or I'm going to call it kerosote oil for some reason. And uh, also it obviously produces regular old charcoal if you burn up the wood, the wood logs. And like I said, as a byproduct, it gives you the oil. So let's go find a spot for these ovens. I think we're going to put them downstairs. I don't really know. Or we might make a new building for them entirely. But we could move them in the future. Either way, I want to show you guys something actually with them. So if I were to throw one piece of basalt on the ground, it's the normal size. But if I were to throw one of these bricks down, look at that. It's massive. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you guys in a moment. Uh, let's go downstairs here and build our first oven. So, they are three high and three wide, so they are perfect size for this place. So let's build one here. Let's go ahead and make the roof of it. Yes, you have to actually build the oven to make it use, uh, make it work. So you have to make a three by three by three square with a hollow center, basically. And like that. And right when you put it down, it'll update eventually. There you go. See it updated into a uh, actual Coke oven. So any one of these blocks, we can right-click and open up the uh, e the UI. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's actually turn this off. So with this Coke oven, I'll show you guys what's up with it. Um, let's get some wood here. Uh, six is enough. Now the reason we made these things so early game is because uh, they take forever. Okay, when I say forever, I mean forever to cook something. So you'll never use these as a regular. Uh, regular oven or regular uh, furnace or whatever even though they look beast so when you put one piece of wood in here as you can see it cooks it up and it is not even moving okay it is making progress see that little progress bar there now it uh, it's very 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 slow and eventually it'll give you one piece of charcoal and every so often it'll uh, push this little bar up or down or something it'll fill this bar up and once this bar is full it'll actually give you one croset oil. I don't really know the ratio between a stack of wood and then oil. I think it's like 64 to 20 something. Could be, I don't really know. But either way, it takes forever just to make one oil and you need a lot of oil to make these uh, railcraft stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch more ovens here. You have to have at least one block space between them. Just a good thing to keep in mind. So I'm gonna make the rest of these ovens here. Then we'll move on to something else in the episode. So give me a second. There we have it. We have all the ovens finished, except for this last one. We need two more bricks, of course, but uh, that's no big deal. We'll have two more bricks eventually. Not too bad. Um, so, in the next little bit of this episode, I think we're going to do some new things. Probably move all of our stuff over to this house, and uh, hopefully get more stuff done than I did in the uh, previous recording session. There we go. I got it right this time. As you can see, it's still making progress here, and it's very slow. So, let's go ahead and actually go get more wood, because that's what we need right now. We're very low on wood, and it's a necessity, so. I wonder if this thing gives off light. I think it does. Yeah, it does. How much is a question? A good amount. Not too much, though. Either way. Uh, as you can see, the light's going through the floor here. That's just because light does go through, uh, what are they called? Covers. So, yeah. I'm going to run back to the other house here shortly, after I put my stuff away, because I don't need all this. Oh, look at that. We do have some uh, some bricks left. Maybe we already did that. Uh, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the other house and uh, figure something out to do. Probably make a new kind of uh, item, and that would be a redstone engine. Maybe even electrical engine if we uh, 
have the resources or energy for it, that is. So let's head over to the other house. Give me a second. Okie dokie, so we're back at the house now, and what we need to make is a piston. So let's go ahead and make it. If you guys don't know how to make a piston, just look it up. It's pretty easy. Uh, actually, I'll just show you guys. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's actually get a bit of gold here. Let's go to the energy condenser, put the iron here, and put the gold in it. There we go. Stack of iron for 8 gold. Good exchange there. So let's go ahead now and uh, craft a piston like we just said. So let's get one piston. We don't need any more. Actually, yeah, let's get two pistons because we're going to make two engines. So let's get some wood here. We have a good amount, I guess. Not too much, but good amount. And eight to this. Okay, so let's craft our piston. Regular old piston. Nothing special uh, like that. Make two of them, of course. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, and the redstone. There's our pistons. Okay. So, now what we need to do is make a new item called a wooden gear. Now, to make that, you need four sticks. So, we're going to make... Uh, we need four of them, actually. There we go. One, two, three, four. And you make the sticks go like this. And uh, there we go. And you get yourself some wooden gears. So, we need four of them. And we need two pieces of glass. We don't have very much of that. None at all, actually. Of course not. Um, maybe it's in here. Indeed, I have lots of it. What am I saying? Okay, lag, go away. Thank you. Um, let's get two of those, and we have planks. Yes, we do. Okay, so we're good. So now we just have to put the wooden gears like that, the piston like that, the glass like that, and the wood across the top like this, and each one will give us a redstone engine. So we need two of them. And what we're going to do with this redstone engine here is go ahead and... Well, actually, we need to pump all these items out, don't we? Darn. Okay. Um, we don't have that large of an amount of items here. But we're going to get a couple alchemical chests, just to hold all of them. And uh, when we do get those, I guess we'll have to make some more engines here. And uh, eventually we'll actually automate the crafting of all these items with logistics pipes. But for the moment, uh, I guess we'll just do them manually. Let's go ahead and toss these in here for now. And with these bees, if I didn't already mention, you can actually, like, breed them and do a bunch of stuff with them. I don't actually know a lot about them because I'm very new to them. It's just, I'm just starting out with them now. But uh, I know how to make the apiary, which is, like, the beekeeping center. And uh, we'll get into that later on. But for now, I guess we need to get these, uh, get these items so we can actually transport all of our items back to the other house. So let's go ahead and make some diamond, or sorry, not diamond, some teleport pipes. So to make these teleport pipes, I forget the recipe, so let's go ahead and look it up here. Uh, teleport pipe. There it is. Uh, teleporter. Cool. You can actually make a teleporter in the future. Why not? So we need two diamond gears. Not wooden gears. Diamond gears. So to make diamond gears, you need four diamonds per gear. Yes, that's a lot of diamonds. We only have one left. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, we have to go mining sometime. Anyways, so yeah, eight diamonds, you need a bunch of gold, um, eight per gear, so eight di eight gold as well, which is equal to two more diamonds, so ten diamonds total. Uh, how much more stuff do you need? You need some iron, you need some cobblestone, because basically there's a bunch of these, um, of, what are they called, the gears. There's a bunch of gears you have to upgrade through. So let's make uh, a bunch of sticks here, and open up our actual crafting square. Don't charge it, goodness. Um, so let's make a bunch of wooden gears here. We're going to need a bunch of them in the future anyway, so let's make four of them and then upgrade all of these that we can into cobblestone gears or stone gears. So two there, get those out of here, put them in there again and upgrade them to iron gears like so, and then upgrade them to, uh, sorry, uh, golden gears, and then last but not least, upgrade them to diamond gears. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Okay, so two diamond gears. And now we need one piece of glass. And then we'll open this up again. Put the diamond gears like that. Glass in the middle. That will give us item teleport pipes. So that's eight of them. We can turn these into waterproof uh, teleport pipes and even electricity teleport pipes. But for now, we'll just leave them as item because that's what we need them for. So, my throat's getting really sore right now, I don't know why. It's probably because I've been recording all morning. But, no, the recording didn't want to work. Grr. I hate when that happens, you don't understand how mad it makes me. Ugh, it's so irritating. Okay, um, 
So we need a couple alchemy chests here, alchemical chests. Just to, uh, I'll put every item we have in them. So let's make three, I guess. Three should be good enough. And we'll have to have a bunch of them in the future anyways. Crap, we need diamonds, don't we? Okay, let's get a bunch of gold here and turn it all into diamonds. Why not? Uh, put that in there. And get a diamond hooked. Glad we have at least one left. That's good. And put that right there. That'll make a bunch of diamonds for us. We have ten now. Sweet. Exact amount of gold that we needed. So, let's get three of these. Put the rest away. There. And we need two iron. Or sorry, yeah, two iron. Four iron, sorry. So, let's turn... Oh, we already have iron. What am I talking about? We have our iron. Now we need some stone. Regular stone, that is. Four of it. Cook it up into real stone here. There we go. We have loads of power here too, but uh, I'm actually going to charge this battery up as well. Just because. And also my drill as well, because it's uh, low in power. It's just a good thing to do, just to charge up all your batteries every so often, just so you can store some power that uh, you aren't using right now. If it's already, if it's staying at full, it's either you have to upgrade your MFE to an MFSU, or uh, get a bunch of batteries and charge them all up. Because you're wasting a lot of power, like I am now. So, anyways, get back to uh, making these things. So we need uh, two, three chests. I need more stone. What am I talking about, dude? Alright, put this in here. Um, get these chests going. Uh, three, four, five, six. Okay. No, I don't need that. There we go. Turn all that into wood. And three chests. Here we come. Boom. Okay, three chests for here. There it is. And get this uh, stone out of here. And now we can actually make them out. That was my thumb. And I think it goes like that. Maybe it's like that. There it is. Okay. And put the chests like that in the cold balance dust up top. There we go. Three alchemy chests. Alchemical chests. Not alchemy chests. Um, so let's go ahead and put these right in the middle of the floor. As you can see, they uh, fit together nicely and don't interfere with each other. And they just have regular inventories. Nothing special with these. They just uh, have huge inventories, of course. So, let's go ahead and put everything we have in these chests. And I mean everything. Not uh, not my teleport pipes, though. And not my bag. Maybe not that, or that, or that. <laughs> let's put everything we have and then take everything out. And put those in my hotbar. So now we need to make some regular old pipes, and we're going to make some stone pipes since we can, and we have the uh, have the time and resources for it. Might as well. Uh, let's make eight of these. Let's cook up eight stone. There we go. Okay. And now in our crafting square, just do the same thing with the diamond or the the teleport pipes, just with stone, and you get yourself some stone transport pipes. Really, really common and useful. So. With these, we're going to go ahead and, uh, actually we're just going to put these in our item, or our bag here. Don't need them at the moment. One thing you should never ever do is put this bag inside of itself, okay? So, don't ever do that. Don't, don't. It's, it's not good. Because then you'll have to get a new blue bag and then open it up and take your old one out. Because, uh, you won't be able to actually access this inventory anymore. So, in any case, let's go ahead and, uh, break some of these, uh, chests here and uh, start storing them in these new chests. Um, thinking about getting an axe here. Because, uh, yeah, it's not very fun having to break them with my fist. We already had chests, look at that. Alright, let's get an axe. Uh, I already think I have one here. There it is. Okay. Ruby axe. Cool. Let's go ahead and break all of these chests now. Yes, all of them. Just break them off and then we'll put all the items we get inside of these ones here. There we go. And just keep clicking as you pick up all the items. And I'll just, uh, that's all of them there. There we go. Just get in range of them so you can pick them all up. And just keep clicking, which is very useful. Good to keep in mind. There we go. That should be everything off the floor. On that side anyways. And then there's some stuff in here that we need to put in here. We actually just have to have two chests. That's all we need organize that and put the rest of this stuff in here. We have a load of stuff I didn't even know about. <laughs> okay, there we go. And put the rest in here. Okay, so let's break these chests now. 
not too much in these ones except for this one here. It's always satisfying watching chests explode into a beautiful mass of items. Keep clicking. Come on. There we go. Keep on clicking. There we go. There. Okay, so we have all of our items now except for these uh, machines and whatnot. Anything in our furnaces over here? Because if not, then we're just going to get rid of them. Alright, cool. Because we don't even need these. They were just for aesthetic purposes. And, uh, you know what? What the heck? Might as well keep them here. Why not, right? If we're not even going to come back here, might as well leave them. Glitch. Okay. So we didn't even need this chest here. So either way, let's toss all these items in here as well. Don't need them. That's kind of a random clicking pattern there. Oops. And uh, I want to get to something fun this episode because this is fairly boring so far, and I apologize for that. But you got to do it sometime because you got to organize your stuff. So there we have it. We have all of our items stored. Now we just have to teleport them. So doing so is fairly easy. In fact, I'm going to make a new kind of engine, and it's uh, one that actually comes with forestry, I believe. So we're not going to use a redstone engine because there's a bunch of different engines. I think there's uh, six or seven of them, but. The industrial craft ones are the redstone engine, the steam engine, and the combustion engine. Uh, redstone just uses a redstone signal. It'll never blow up as long as it's uh, powering something. Like it, it has to be connected to something that it can power. Even if it's not actually doing anything efficient, like if it's just sitting there, it will not blow up. Steam engines, on the other hand, will blow up if they uh, are overheated too much and aren't doing anything. And uh, why am I lagging? And combustion engines will guaranteed blow up if you don't pay attention to them and feed them with water. So, yeah, cool. Um, so I'm going to make some electrical engines. Electrical engines are just in forestry, and they use electricity instead of, uh, uh, like, coal for steam engines and, like, oil and gas, gasoline for, um, sorry, combustion engines. Or fuel, if you'd like to call it that. So let's go ahead and get craft in here. Uh, we need couple of gears, tin gears that is. It's mainly revolving around tin. Let's go into our chest here. Grab a bunch of tin. Four, eight uh, for that, and then one, two, three. So 11 tin total. A uh, bit of stone, or cobblestone. Eight cobblestone, and then we need eight sticks. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's open up our crafting square. Make two regular wooden gears, upgrade them to cobblestone gears, and as you guessed, probably upgrade them to tin gears. Oops. There, tin gears. Two tin gears, three of those, and we need one more piston here. Let's get a bit of iron if we have any here. There it is. One iron, we need one redstone, which we're running low on. Um, wood, cobblestone. Wood's in here. There. Okay. Let's craft this piston. There we go. Alright, piston. Now we need one glass. Oh, goodness. Wrong button. Uh, open this up. There. Okay. So let's craft this uh, the same way as we crafted the redstone engine, just with tin stuff. That's the electrical engine. Now, electrical engines pull one stack out of a chest at a time. And whereas redstone engines only pull one item out of a stack at a time. So we'll take like 64 pulses to pull a stack of dirt out. So that's what we don't want, basically. We want to be able to pull a stack out at a time and forward them through our chests. So to do so, let's go ahead and get our stone transport pipes as well as our diamond, er, I keep saying diamond teleport pipes, our item, item teleport pipes. Oh, my nose is itchy. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so let's get our stuff on our hotbar here so we actually use it. We're only going to use one of these item teleport pipes, so that's pretty cool. Actually, we're going to need a new type of pipe. I forgot about that. How that rhymed. Tee -hee. Let's get two wood and one glass. As you can probably guess, we're making a wooden transport pipe, so but just do that. This is basically the main recipe you're going to use for pipes. It's just using different resources, obviously. So wooden transport pipes extract items, for, uh, items from chests. And uh, let's go ahead and place that here just to power this pipe. And we need a bit of glass fiber cables. So I know I had some here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and place these down. We're not going to be able to reach, are we? Four or five. Wow, we need three more, of course. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't know if this thing can accept low or medium voltage. I don't want to test it, but 
I guess I will anyways. We need some more glass fiber cables. So let's go ahead and make these now. Let's get some silver going. One, two silver, one diamond, and six glasses in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our clicking is getting better, guys. It's awesome. Our diamond in the middle, and then silver ingots. Oops. Oh, six glass fiber cables. Perfect. So let's uh, test this baby out. All right, so we are getting power. Now all we need to do is hit a redstone signal on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't blow up when I put this down. I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. Um, anyways, all of the engines, I believe, need a redstone signal to work anyways. But the redstone pipe, or, yeah, redstone engine is the only thing that can actually run fully off of it. So, awesome. We have power now, and now we just have to put down a uh, teleport pipe. So we're not going to actually power this thing yet. We're just going to wait until we have the item teleport pipe in the other chest. So let's grab this alchemy chest here, and possibly some other chests. I don't know really. All right, let's just run back to the other house here. Um, yeah, we'll have to make two trips back and forth, which isn't a problem. Let's just go set up all of this stuff at the other house. I'll meet you guys there. One thing I forgot to do is actually lit up my roof. Oops. Oh well. Too bad, so sad, they can just ninja jump me, and whatever. They'll probably just get blown away by my um, interdiction torches anyways. So here we are at the other house. Now what we have to do is go ahead and set up these chests here. And we're going to set them up downstairs, in fact. Just because. And how's this doing? Not even close. And it's probably just because uh, we weren't near here and the chunks weren't loaded. We'll fix that up in the future, though, because there is a certain thing that you can do with that. So let's go ahead and put this teleport pipe down, and let's stand right next to it and click it. Okay, with our fist open, our, our fist selected. So, as you can see, it has its own interface here. This has frequency zero. We can change that by doing this, and uh, change it up to many different frequencies. So, can't go in the minus frequencies, sadly, but you can go really high, so you really don't, uh, you will never run out of teleport frequencies. And as you can see, connected pipes zero, that'll remain there until I connect the one from the other house. So let's uh, set this to frequency 1, and we'll note that this, uh, we'll not keep this uh, actual frequency anyways, because we're not going to keep this teleport pipe here. So we'll change this to can receive true. So that means it can receive items from other teleport pipes. So it'll all lead into this chest here. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think we're going to make another item, another type of pipe. Just introduce you guys to it, and it's called the advanced insertion pipe. And that pipe basically just inserts all the items that it can into the chest that's right next to it and if it doesn't have room in that chest it'll switch to the next chest or the next inventory that it can so advanced bam, there it is the purple one right there advanced insertion teleport pipe no that's not what we want is it huh that's strange insertion no that's in insert insertion pipe okay maybe it's uh this is strange. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to text, test that out in my other world, but I'm not really sure what's going on there. I thought that was just a regular tele uh, insertion pipe. Maybe that's the uh, the green one. Either way, let's go ahead and set this. This is at frequency 1. Let's just set it to 0 for now. And head over to the other house. So, we'll actually have to make another chest here, as a matter of fact. Which isn't a big deal. Let's go ahead and make another one. Let's get two of these, actually four of these, why not? Open this up, get that, and two chests. We'll just add this right to that stone pipe, and uh, what will happen here is the items will just uh, switch between putting in this chest, and this chest, this chest, this chest, and so on. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good, because then we won't run out of inventory space in our chests. So, let's go ahead and run all the way back to the other house here, so give me a second. Alright, here we are at the other house here, so let's go ahead and, uh, and put this teleport pipe right here and put a stone pipe between it, and now let's just uh, open up the interface on this. It's frequency 0, can receive true, I think. Connected pipes 2. Why does it say 2? Okay, it's kind of like fluctuating between 1 and 2. Hmm. That's strange. Maybe I... This is really weird. Okay, I guess we're going to set this... Oh, there it fixes itself, okay. Oh, my dog's barking. It keeps on switching to two. What's this? 
That's really weird. Okay, um, can receive false. Let's leave that there. I'm not really sure. I'm not really uh, educated with this uh, can receive true and false, but this dog has to be quiet for a minute. I'm talking. So I'm going to go ahead and start powering this now. Let's put this glass fiber cable back. There we go. And this should start uh, pumping items out of this chest here from right. Takes a second to get going, but... Okay, maybe... Uh... Oh, I did this wrong. Okay, I did that way wrong. Okay, so it has to actually have an output on it. Or being output. There we go. Now it's pumping items out. At a fairly fast rate at that. Okay, maybe it doesn't pull a stack at a time. Normally it does. That's strange. Huh. All my other worlds, it takes one item at a time. Alright, so that should be going right to my other chest there. So we'll have to make another trip back here again. But for now, let's just run back to the other house. Hopefully not die, because I almost got killed by a bunch of spiders on the way here. Because they're pretty quick. Anyways, let's run back to the house and see if everything's going good. Alright, so we actually started starving to death on the way here, so we just ate some zombie, zombie flesh. And everything seems to be going fine so far. As you can see, it just kind of randomly picks a path. And uh, we're actually getting a good amount of items so far. And uh, I'm just going to let that let that run for now. It will take energy up, but we have lots of it, so it's no big deal. We'll let that run just because uh, I, I really thought that it pulled a stack at a time. I'm disappointed in that. I guess it's only on Ticket. It does on it does on tech it, but maybe not technic. Oh well. Any case, let's. Uh, I think we just start something new this episode. Probably something to do with uh, build craft or something, because we need some fuel. So we're gonna get some oil eventually. But before we do that, excuse me, we should probably. Uh, um, I don't know. I'm gonna think of it, and uh, I'll be back shortly when I have something to do. As a matter of fact, everybody, I'm just back at this house, but we have to end the episode here because it's rounding about a half hour. It's actually just over, and I've actually come to a decision that I'm not going to use these teleport pipes for this because I thought that it would actually pull a stack out at a time, but for some reason, some items are teleporting and some aren't, so something's going on with this, and uh, in any case, I guess I'm just going to end the episode here like I just said, so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the second version of episode 12. And hopefully this uh, little mishap doesn't happen again. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.